Chapter One of the Science of Getting Rich by Valence D. Wattles. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Dana Meininger. Chapter One: The Right to Be Rich. Whatever may be said in praise of poverty, the fact remains that it is not possible to live a really complete or successful life unless one is rich. No man can rise to his greatest possible height in talent or soul development unless he has plenty of money. For to unfold a soul and to develop talent, he must have many things to use, and he cannot have these things unless he has money to buy them with. A man develops in mind, soul, and body by making use of things, and society is so organized that man must have money in order to become the possessor of things. Therefore, the basis of all advancement for a man must be the science of getting rich. The object of all life is development, and everything that lives has an inalienable right to all the development it is capable of attaining. Man's right to life means his right to have the free and unrestricted use of all the things which may be necessary to his fullest mental, spiritual, and physical unfoldment, or, in other words, his right to be rich. In this book, I shall not speak of riches in a figurative way. To be really rich does not mean to be satisfied or contented with a little. No man ought to be satisfied with a little if he is capable of using and enjoying power. The purpose of nature is the young desire to live more abundantly is abnormal, and so the man who does not desire to have money enough to buy all he wants is abnormal. There are three motives for which we live. We live for the body, we live for the mind, we live for the soul. No one of these is better or holier than the other. All are alike desirable, and no one of the three, body, mind or soul, can live fully if either of the others is cut short of full life and expression. It is not right or noble to live only for the soul and deny mind or body, and it is wrong to live for the intellect and deny body or soul. We are all acquainted with the loss and consequences of living for the body and denying both mind and soul, and we can see that real life means the complete expression of all that man can give forth through body, mind and soul. Whatever he can say, no man can be really happy or satisfied unless his body is living fully in every function and unless the same is true for his mind and his soul. Wherever there is unexpressed possibility or function not performed, there is unsatisfied desire. Desire is possibility seeking expression or function seeking performance. A man cannot live fully in body without good food, comfortable clothing and warm shelter, and without freedom from excessive toil. Rest and recreation are also necessary for his physical life. He cannot live fully in mind books and time to study them, without opportunity to travel and observation, or without intellectual companionship. To live fully in mind, he must have intellectual recreations, he must surround himself with all the objects of art and beauty he is capable of using and appreciating. To live fully in soul, man must have love, and love is denied expression by all of them. A man's highest happiness is found in the bestowal and benefit of those who love. Love finds its most natural and spontaneous expression in giving. The man who has nothing to give cannot fill his place as a husband or father, as a citizen or as a man. It is in the use of material things that the man finds new life for his body, develops his mind, and unfolds his soul. It is therefore for supreme importance to him that he should be rich. It is perfectly right that he should desire to be rich. You are a normal man or woman, you cannot find the it is perfectly right that you should give your best attention to the science of getting rich, for it is the noble 
noblest and most necessary of all studies. If you neglect this study, you are derelict in your duty to yourself, to God and humanity. For you can render to God and humanity no greater service than to make the most of yourself. End of chapter 1